Yeah. I request you to say a few words about yourself and your contribution. Yeah. So actually, I am associated in Department of Mathematics and Humanities. That is Humanities Surat. We are working on that uh, active hypergeometry functions from 2013 onwards. Okay, I have done my PhD at Esmenet uh, Surat itself under Dr. A.K. Sukla, who is now Professor of Mathematics here. And uh, I'm lucky to meet Professor Sinus Rao and different occasion in IMS, Indian Mathematical Society Conference, as well as in ICNG, Mysore, University of Mysore, in just prior to yeah. lockdown in 2019, we have met there. Yes. And it is my proud privilege to be associated with you. And Thank you. with your chair, I am presenting my talk. Thank you very much. And on other part also, I am fortunate to give the talk in an international webinar of special function and their applications hosted by University of Kerala, Department of Mathematics. Thank you, the organizer, for giving me the invitation to deliver the talk. Okay, looking into the contribution by Professor Rao and others, I am a very small person doing something in special function. And from my talk, you will get the glimpses what I am doing here at SVNIT. So, so I'll go for my talk. Okay. Okay, sir. Uh, I'll continue now. Yes, sir. Please. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. And so, I have only one I'll question like to the talk. chairman, uh, to the uh, organizers. How much time, sir? One hour from now or? Yeah, it is one hour from now. Thank you. Yeah. So, we one hour from now. 11 30. Yeah, we have 11, up to 11 30. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'll get, uh, try to finish before the talk and we will go for the interaction session also. Okay. Okay, so my talk, it will be consist of introduction about the subject, especially the subject of special function and hypergeometric function. Then I'll go to right type hypergeometric function. Then we work on actually in extended right type hypergeometric function and where we are working that also I'll highlight and several properties of extended right type hypergeometric functions also we'll discuss. Then we'll go for some applications and we'll derive some theorem and proof also. I'll give here the brief proof, not the extended proof we'll provide here in the talk. And if you go to the study of higher transcendental functions, which also sometimes we are calling it as a special functions, it is grows up with the calculus and is, is consequently one of the oldest subject which is considered as a branch of analysis previously. Now they are associated with the differential equation. They are associated with in what in Lie algebra. So several, several higher. It is not like only one part of analysis or any other things. It, it has several connections, even in quantum mechanics also. Whatever Professor Rao has told like that. And whereas the word hypergeometry appeared in Wallis writings. And the hypergeometric was introduced by Leonard the Euler, who also found an integral representation of it. Okay. So we have derived the hypergeometric series from the uh, hypergeometric differential equations. Not only we can derive the integral representation of the hypergeometric function as well. Although Euler obtained the hypergeometric functions, and this is the two F1 functions. If you go for here, we are writing a, b, then semicolon. So this is the representation. It is also sometimes represented as two f1 functions, which is called the Gauss hypergeometric function. And so, although it was often by Euler, but we know it as a Gauss hypergeometric function. So this is a picture of Johann Carl Friedrich Gauss. Okay, so the maximum two f1 functions we credited as a we called it as a Gauss hypergeometric function. Then in the 19th century, using the results of Gauss, Kumar, Gossard, Squatch, and Klein, and many others, the hypergeometric series in function theory becomes apparent. Not only that, okay, Professor Srinivas Raman, sorry, Srinivas Ramanujan also in the period 1900 and 1920, he also extended study the hypergeometric series, even in most cases, in unpublished notebooks without complete proofs. And this is the motivation of our study also. As is true of all other works of Ramanujan, it remains intriguing to know how he arrived at those results without having a formal knowledge of the transformation theory of the general hypergeometric series. 
it is therefore always interesting to investigate the possible unorthodox methods used by him which go to establish his invincible originality and intuitive genius now i am going towards from hypergeometry function now i am going towards right type hypergeometry function uh, sometimes it is called also right function so it is named after british mathematician e m right the full name is sir edward metland right okay and the work appeared for the first time in connection with investigations in the asymptotic theory of partitions so even right right functions has the applications in partition theory also those who are working in number theory and partition theory they may have extensive knowledge about that later on right further extended this function in the form of general hypergeometric function which is known as right type hypergeometric function many researchers of an interesting results including contiguous relations integral representations and recurrence relations of generalized right functions and their properties and what is our motivations there is a connection between gauss hypergeometric function and right type hypergeometric function and we have investigated that connection and we derived several properties and investigate several properties of this extended right type hypergeometric function now i will define this function then we will derive several properties also and some applications also this is the work i will present and there are enormous scopes to study the basic properties the fractional calculus approach so i will use the some methodology of fractional calculus in our study also and we will use some incomplete gamma functions also so so these are the things we will use as a tool in my study so this is the definition of mathematically if you will represent gauss hypergeometric functions so this is 2f1 function f a b c z which is a infinite series representations which is represented as function n equal to 0 to infinity a this is the factorial function where it is defined by this way okay a n it is nothing but a a plus 1 up to a plus n minus 1 similarly so it is 2f1 so 2 in the numerator and one in the denominator that's why it is 2f1 and if you see the representation also a b then semicolon then another parameter c then another semicolon also and z is the argument of the function so it is represented as sum n equal to 0 to infinity n b n c n so all this is a special function international linear all are familiar with this so i will not much concentrate about these things but whatever the work we have done I must focus on much focus on that part. Okay, you maximum of you know the this notation lambda b, where lambda b both belongs to C. This is denoted a Pockhammer symbol, which is denoted by in the representation of gamma function. Okay, so this is the representation of gamma functions, which is one when b equal to zero. So I can if I put zero here, I will get one, and when it is not equal to zero, and it is not the form of n b belongs to n then it will be nothing but a product of this lambda lambda plus one lambda plus n minus one and this is also we will assume that like factorial zero equal to one so we will assume that zero zero equal to one and gamma so there is a little discussion in the reference to it is given and the classical generalized hypergeometry so when there it was 2f1 if we extended this in general form p f q so p f q is what in the numerator we have p number of parameter and the denominator we have q number of parameter a1 a2 up to ap and b1 b2 up to bq so p number of parameter if you see here a1n dot 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 these are product apn and b1n b it is divided by factorial n so here this will be happen only if p equal to q plus 1 mod z less than 1 uh, no denominator parameter is 0 or negative integer so this this is called the classical general, generalized hypergeometric function or simply sometimes it is called the generalized hypergeometric function there, there are extensive theory appeared in generalized hypergeometric function there are several books and gaspar rahman basic hypergeometric series they are the very good book where the the properties of general hypergeometric function can be found then we will come back to right 
type hypergeometric functions. So what it is here also, this is also the P psi Q. So psi functions we denoted as psi function who have in terms of gamma functions we represent here also if you see here we have alpha one dot dot up to alpha p so p number of gamma functions alpha one plus beta one n alpha two plus gamma alpha two plus beta two n up to gamma alpha p plus beta p n and in the denominator we have gamma rho one plus mu one n gamma rho two plus mu two n up to gamma rho q plus mu q n and the three by n by factorial n. And this is a convergence conditions that beta r and mu t are real positive numbers such that this, this will be happen. Sorry. That this is 1 plus summation t equal to 1 to q. q is the number of denominator parameters mu t and summation of all the numerator parameters it will be greater than 0. So this is the thing it will be satisfied then only this functions will exist and not only that when beta r mu t are equal to 1 then this and 4 differs from the general hypergeometric function only by a constant multiplier so it will be not special type right type hypergeometric functions it will be some multiplication of generalized hypergeometric function several researchers like Rostenko, Malvichko and others has generalized the, they have worked on generalized form of hypergeometric function and one the special case generalized form of the hypergeometric function considered in as a form this. So this is also another type of hypergeometric function form here. It, these are the two new parameters which have been introduced and this omega mu which is generated by this way. So it, it is also 2 R1. So this is not like hypergeometric functions but it is hypergeometric type function. So that's why it is 2 R and omega mu is extra here. So how it is defined? It is defined by this way gamma c, gamma a, gamma b then summation of this a plus n gamma b plus omega by mu n similarly in c also c plus omega by mu. mind that here we had no omega by mu is there but in case of b and c omega by mu is there so this is the new functions which is defined in one and in 2001 Vichenko et al they have defined the right type of change function by taking mu by omega by mu equal to tau so they are we are getting only one parameter there two parameter was there here omega by mu has been taken as a tau which is greater than zero and we are getting another function this is also and which is and the various properties of that function has been studied by Snell B Rao which is denoted in reference one and two and in 2000 17-18 Parmar, R.K. Parmar, who, has, who is also one of the speaker of this international webinar, they have introduced the following extension of the tau hypergeometric functions, which is generated by this form, 2R1 tau. So here also mega mu is not there, tau they have used, AP. So this AP has the form that, these are the generalized gamma functions. So generalized gamma functions also we have to define. And this is this notation we are using summation n equal to 0 to infinity APN gamma b plus tau n gamma c plus tau n j to the power n by factorial n. Okay, and this is the convergence condition. And this is the generalized Pokhamar symbol we have used here. So this is the same way, and in the definitions it is generated gamma p. This this is p parameter, p type gamma function, gamma p lambda plus p and gamma lambda and it is denoted by this way in eight form so when it is a very particular case when you put p equal to zero and lambda b belongs to c that time you will get the original classical pokamar symbol but this is generalized pokamar symbol okay. and what about the gamma p z whatever we have denoted here this gamma p this gamma p z is denoted by this way this is called the generalized gamma function which is introduced by Chaudhary and Jubert. Okay, the external studies carried out in this monograph. Okay, so gamma pz it is generated by zero to infinity. In place of here, if you see here, it is not e to the power something, it is minus t minus p by t. So that's why it is called p generalized gamma function or simply generalized gamma function. And this is the convergence conditions. And if you put p equal to zero and when real p greater than zero that time, you will get simple gamma function. 
and in so we have used the previous results also in 2013 Srivastava. Okay. They have defined a family of the generalized and extensive hypergenetic function in the form of this. So they have used this notation. Okay, the first parameter it is of the this form. So and the representation in terms of series form it is given by this way. So they have also used the generalized Pokemon symbol as well as generalized gamma functions and which is generated by this way. If you see here, this is more complicated. It is called generalized and extended Pokemon symbol. So our study, why we are writing right type extended hypergeometric function, it is because we are using the generalized and extended Pokemon symbol. That's why we are using the same name, right type extended hypergeometric function. So this is the generalized and extended Pokemon symbol, which is defined in one again. And this is the notation, which is the, here it is. Gamma P K L L minus to N zero lambda plus B gamma P K L L minus to N zero lambda lambda B belongs to C provided that the series on the right hand side of 10 and the function gamma P K L L minus to N zero Z is the generalized and extended gamma function which is so here we are using also extended gamma function so what is the extended gamma function so here if you see we are using this notation capital theta and capital theta is this way, which is also due to Srivastava. Okay, so this is the so we are using this, this type of function, extended gamma function, generalized Pokemon symbol in our notation. So that's why we are writing like type extended hypergeometry. Now we will introduce our function. So here, this is the capital theta function, which is generated by this way. Okay, and this is also. Uh, asymptotic convergence so that also this is the convergence conditions also and for some suitable constant m0 and omega depending essentially upon the sequence kl l minus to n0 so this is the preliminary of the study and we taking that to into our, our account and going through the properties of the previous functions we have introduced an extension of the tau right type of geometric function and we have used the generalized and extended Pokemon symbol defined by 11 and we then derive several classes of generating relations involving this extended tau hypergeometric functions okay and not only that but the result it is given by parmar and sivasa that we have got as a special case so in terms of generalized and extended Pokemon symbol defined by 11 we have introduced this function so in our next all the slide i'll involve this function which is defined by 14. okay so this is the functions defined by us and we have extensively extensively studied these functions and we have derived different properties and applications so in the remaining all the slides i will use this 2r1 function in our study and for some special cases, we will reach to Padmas as well as Sivastas result. So, in a very special case, when KL is 1 and PKL is 0 in the denominator, in definition 11, the generalized and extended Pokemon symbol will reach to the generalized Pokemon symbol, while 14 will say to the extended tau hypergeometric function defined in 7. And if in 11, so I will get if you put particular value, I will reach back to the some classical functions. So now we will discuss about properties of the extended right type hypergeometric function. So the extended tau right type hypergeometric function. This has the this is the integral representations we have derived. Okay, so two R one A P K L L plus N zero B C Z. This functions can be represented in terms of integral as we will get the same form of the two F one functions type gamma c by gamma b gamma c minus b integration 0 to 1 t b minus 1 1 minus t but here we will get this okay so this is the integral representation of the which we have derived okay so how we have derived that preliminary prelude of that proof at the given we are using the classical beta function so which is defined by this and using that notations we can and all the definitions of extended Pokemon symbol, generalized gamma functions, 
using that results we have got the integral representation of the functions defined by this. so then we have used the binomial coefficient generalized binomial coefficient binomial coefficients if we write lambda mu which which is very easily can be written as factorial lambda like that way but we have used the generalized binomial coefficients here we are taking lambda mu belongs to c okay so when you are taking lambda mu belongs to c we represented this, this in terms of gamma function which is denoted like in 17 what is that that is gamma lambda plus one so if it is in in that time you will get factorial lambda like that factorial mu by right? factorial lambda minus here. okay not only that we know that ncr equal to ncn minus r so same thing you can go for when lambda mu belongs to c as well so that's why it is called the generalized binomial coefficients and when you in the special case if you put mu equal to n n minus 10 0 we have this notation like that lambda n you will get minus 1 whole to the power n minus lambda n by factor and we will get the generating relations which will be equal to for the extent of the tau right of arrangement function so this is the generating relations for that okay so this is the generating relations of the find that we are not writing generating function by writing generating relations okay so we are not getting exactly the generating function form we are getting this way and here also we have the functions here also we have the functions so that's why it is generally type of generating relation so that's why we are using generating relation so this is the generating relations of the function 2r1 tau which is defined by us not only that other way also here it is t to the power here if you see here we have changed here j into 1 minus t to the power tau here z by 1 minus t so if you change the parameter you will get the another analysis so proof is also given i will not go for the details of the proof okay if anybody has any doubt after this presentation you can ask me okay so it is it is the things we are using the definitions which we are using the definition of gamma function by using that we are going for the proof okay we are taking the uh, some inverted order of the summations okay and now by applying the generalized binomial expansions we are using the binomial expansions also this is very famous one minus two equal to the minus a can be written as this way sums and n equal to zero to infinity n to the power n by factorial n so we are using that things to prove the relations and not only that in order to derive assertion 20 we use this as well lambda n gamma 1 minus lambda minus n divided by gamma 1 minus lambda minus n plus tau k which is can be represented as equal to lambda minus tau k n gamma 1 minus lambda divided by gamma 1 minus lambda plus tau k and we apply the similar steps by the way we have proved 19 so 19 and 20 has a similar proof only the difference is this one so that we have used and we will get the second representations uh, second generating lessons and we are using the result of Parmar as well. Now we next introduce the sequences psi n, lambda tau, z, n minus n zero, and theta n. So we are using two sequences psi n and theta n of the extended tau hypergeometric functions. How we have represented? We have represented in terms of two R1 tau function. So this is the notation we are using psi n lambda tau, z, which is nothing but the two R1 tau. APKL equals 10 0 lambda plus n. So it has also if you see here two parameters, it has one, so two R1. Okay, Z. And theta has a different notation. So here we are using B, but here we are using 1 minus lambda minus n instead of C. So that's why we are denoting that theta. Okay. So this is psi, this is theta. So which is represented by 21 and 22. We can get several properties of this. Okay. So, so how we can prove it? We can prove by this by substituting for the sequence in psi n and using the definition of the general binomial coefficient. So we have introduced binomial coefficient, generalized binomial coefficients in 18. 
So using that definition and as well as the extended tau right of representative functions, which is defined in 14 and inverting the order of the summations, the left hand side of the resistance 23 has been established as this. And so this will get both sides. So you can write psi this as this way. Okay, so this is the lessons we will get and we will apply the general binomial extensions which we will get at the 23. Similarly, we can get the 24 as well using the same way by what we have used for 23. Then in the next part, what we will go for, I will go for how this function is related with another type of social function. So 2 are on tau, it is related to with McDonald functions also k alpha j. So this is the relation, the 25, it is giving as the relations between k alpha z with 2 r1 tau. So 2 r1 a p b c z can be represented as this way, 2 p alpha by 2 gamma c gamma b gamma a. Mind that here gamma c in the top, gamma b gamma a, and that can be represented as a solution of, of n equal to can be McDonald function of here, here it is in place of alpha, here we are getting a plus n and argument is 2 root and this is in the summation of n. Okay, this is the McDonald. Okay, so what is that McDonald function? This is nothing but a modified special function of third kind. There is modified special function of first kind, second kind and third kind is has a name which is called the McDonald functions and what is that? It is represented in terms of this. This is the definition of McDonald functions, which is given in 26. K alpha z is nothing but z by 2 whole to the power alpha by 2, 0 to infinity, e to the power minus t minus z square by 40 to the power minus alpha minus 1. It is different from the gamma functions as well. So this is the representation of McDonald function. So we are we are showing in 25 what do we want to show? We want to show that how these two R1 functions it is related with McDonald function. Then AK Parmar also they have given the representation of the general Pokemon symbol, which is given in 27. So that we will use also and we will derive the this 2R1, how it is related to R1. So that also we have shown in this result. 2R1 tau APBCZ can be represented in, the, in terms of this. And in terms of representation of McDonald functions, we will get this. So this is the result we have used for the from the Parmar and using the definition of McDonald functions, we will derive this result. Then this is the differential formula. So if we take pdz of z to the power 2 r1 function, then you will get z to the power a minus 1, a 2 r1 tau. Here, this is the case. So what we are getting? a p here, but here we are getting a plus z and not only that there is another function also so this is a differential formula we will get for the 2 r1 tau functions which is given in 29 and so how we have proved we have used this property a plus n a p n so this is the definition of the generalized pokemon symbol so using that and not only that we are differentiating and using this property the property of pokemon symbol as well so using that, we have deduced our result, which is cited in 29. So this is the way of proof we have done. And this is complete the proof. We have done some derivation. So it is not very complex to prove it, but you know that these are the little bit of one parameter. If it is problem, your solutions will be discarded. Okay, so when you are doing special functions, big, big calculations, you have to be very much focused on the parameter. Okay, and the gamma functions has a very important role also, so that also you have to look into. Then integral transform. So here we have find several integral transform of the functions introduced. So we have find the beta transform like a Euler transform of two R1 tau functions. So here, if you see here, we are using the beta transform. So 0 to 1, j to the alpha minus 1, 1 minus j beta minus. So we are using this functions transform. Okay. And what we will get? We will get beta function. And here the this has been extended. So here 2R1 is there. Here we are getting 3R2. So 
this is the extension of the 2R1. So you will get three parameter in the numerator and the denominator we have two parameter. That's why it is called 3R2 function. So here we are getting this. Okay. And here this is a definite integral with respect to Z. So Z will be dissolved. We will get function of X because here it is, if you see here, X Z tau it is there x z tau it is there so z will be dissolved we will get x so how we have done the proof of that we have used a series representation of the function 2 r1 tau and we have changed the order of the integral as well as the summations so you know that changing the order of the integrations in double integral triple integral will play an important role to derive several results so we have used that trick into our proof so, and some derivations will lead to this 3R2 tau function. So, this is called the beta transform of 2R1 tau function. Similarly, we have done Laplace transform as well. Okay. So, this is the result using these conditions. So, it is not directly we are getting the result. If we will assume ABC alpha belongs to C, tau sigma belongs to r plus, real part of b greater than 0, real part of c greater than 0, real part of alpha greater than 0, not only that, real part of s greater than 0 and p greater than 0 and x by s to the power sigma less than 1. So we are using x by x to the power sigma. So if it is considered z, so mod z less than 1. So like that. So if these all the conditions it is satisfied, then only we, the Laplace transform of this function it will be exist and this can be represent if you remember here beta transform we are getting 3 r2 here when we are doing the laplace transform 2 r1 but here we are getting 3 r okay so this is also another transform we are finding so our basic research is nothing but the special function and integral transform we are doing so here we are finding the integral transform of the function taking this type of function as a kernel okay so this is the here laplace transform we are using we are using the exponential function as a kernel and here also we are we are finding the laplace transform of this function to be the degree alpha minus one into this the proof is also again we are using the series representation of two r1 tau then again we are changing the order of the summation as well as the series and we are getting three r1 tau functions okay so this is the proof of that Okay, is it okay? Am I audible and everything is fine? Audience sent? Very good. Hello. Thank you. Okay, next one. Then we are going for finding the white taker transform also. So if you see here, this is the things W, lambda mu, sigma t, and we are using the 2R1 tau. This function we have taken extra to get the result in proper set. So this is not in the vertical transform, but we are using this such that I'll get this result in terms of some hypergeometry representation form. So this function also here extra. This is actually not x. This is just multiplications. I cannot write this result into the continuous form. This line, this space, it will be sorted. So we have written into this to 4 r to tau. So this is the result we have got for the vertical transform. The again. For this proof, proof also simple. So what we have done for Whitaker transform, we are using Whitaker function. So W lambda mu t. This is the definition of Whitaker function, zeta function. We are using zeta, not zeta function. This is zeta to the power. We are using that. And not only that, real part of lambda minus lambda plus mu minus half, it will be less than equal to zero. So this is the conditions for the Whitaker function to be exist. Okay, and this vertical function has been considered as the kernel of the vertical transform. Again, here also we have done the same trick. We have substituted sigma t equal to v, and we have changed the order of the integration as well as summation, and we have derived our result. But the result we got, we got the result in terms of 4R. Okay, and not only that, we have used this result also. How Whitaker functions, it will be integral representation of Whitaker functions we will get in terms of gamma function as like this. Then we have done some applications of these functions, 
by understanding this. So using the Athenian state law, we derive various interesting classes of linear, bilinear, bilateral, or mixed multilateral generating relations for the sequences. So if you remember, we have denoted some sequences, psi n and theta n. So this in 20 and, and 22, which is represented in terms of two R1 tau functions, which is defined by us. So these sequences play an important role. So we are doing this. So we, we are using some non vanishing functions. Okay. Capital Pi mu, zeta 1, zeta 2, up to zeta s of s complex variable and involving a complex parameter mu. So this mu is complex parameter as well as zeta 1, zeta s. This is this that belongs to capital N. Then this omega MPQZ, it can be written in terms of pi form. And these two functions we are defining in terms of pi as well as two sequences psi and theta. This is for psi, this is for theta. So this is the representation of this function. Okay. Then there is another representation also capital theta lambda p mu sigma, which can be represented in terms of pi also. Not only we have used pi also, small pi lambda p mu, this also represents in terms of capital pi. Here, here it is psi, here it is theta. So, what is the case? The sequences psi and theta are defined which is in 21 and 22. So this is if we define capital theta capital high as this way then they, they are they can be represented in terms of only gone over the 2 by 35 and 36. So we will we have not given have the proof of this but this is a rigorous things so we have given some short proof okay so these are the we are using the notations and whatever the assumptions we have taken that we are using here to prove this. So we have thus completed the proof of the assumption theta and the assumption that the double series involved in the so there is the concept of double series so that also how the double series concept we are using to prove that result. The same method of proof of the first assertion 35 can be applied in order to derive the second assertion 36, which would yield, which would yield the bilateral or mixed lateral generating relations for the sequence defined by 22 in terms of extended tau right angle present sequences. So R1 defined by 40. And if we define the sequences psi n lambda tau j n belongs to n0 and theta n in terms of Parma's tau hypergeometry function, then we will get the special case 2R1. So this is the representation. This is the particular case. Okay. And similarly, capital theta n, which is represented in terms of our function, like this. Then the general lesson 23 and 24, 35 and 30 still hold true for the sequence defined in 38 and 30. Again, we can further generalize the tau right type represent function 14 in terms of this way also, P R Q tau like this. So this is provided that the series on the right hand side converges. And by applying the same methodology described in the aforesaid mentioned theorems, one can derive the analogous generating relation involving the function 14. I am very much grateful to SCRB for doing this study at S N I T. These are the references of my work. I have used the two R1 functions, which is divided by this integral, which is appeared in integral terms of functions. Then we have used the Parma result also, and then the result also, which is appeared in applied mathematics and information science. These are the work we have published in connection with this result. Thank you very much. If anybody has any questions, please let me know.